What's up, you guys? This is John, and welcome to my show, Restless Riches. Uh, I wasn't even planning on filming today, but late last night, my friend called me up, and he let me know about this cool thing called the U.S. Small Business Administration Economic Injury Disaster Loan. Now, that is not a catchy name, and I can't even remember that off the top of my head, so I had to look down. Uh, but it does have a potential amazing benefit for those of you that are sole proprietors or 1099 filers. So yes, I'm talking to you, commission salespeople, Amazon sellers, uh, Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Via drivers, Grubhub drivers, Postmates drivers. Man, that's a lot of drivers. Did I leave anyone out? Oh yeah, and real estate agents. Before I continue the video, I just wanted to state the following. Remember that I am not a tax professional, attorney, or even a member of Congress, or else I'd be making a killing on that insider training. Unfortunately, alas, I am just a random dude on the internet. So make sure to do your own research uh, before you listen to me or any other random people on the internet before you act. Now, on to what kept me up past my bedtime last night. The Economic Injury Disaster Loan. All right, I'm just gonna call this idle. See what I did there? Anyway, whatever you call it doesn't matter because the most important thing is that it is a $10,000 forgivable loan. Now, forgivable means that you don't have to pay it back, which means that it's essentially free money. And who doesn't like free money? I mean, I just love stuff that's free. Uh, I love going to Costco and they give you out those free samples and it tastes good. And then you buy it and it just doesn't taste as good as when they pass it out in the samples. And what tastes even better is when you get the last one. I don't know why it just tastes so good. Anyway, Costco rant over. Let's get on to this. Obviously, with the way things are, the government had to do something to help people out besides those $1,200 checks, uh, which I'll be covering in a future video. And this is a great starting point. The only problem is that there is only a limited amount of funds that Congress has made available for this. So it is essential to get on it ASAP. So I found out about it last night and I had questions myself. So even though it was 11 p.m., I called into the SBA, Small Business Administration, and I did get through to a really helpful lady, lady who uh, answered a lot of my questions. So I'm gonna go over some of the things that I learned. Number one, due to high demand, the processing time, which should have been just a, a couple or a few days, is now two to three weeks. I mean, obviously that sucks to wait, but if the money ends, ends up being free, hey, that's cool. Uh, number two, you have to be a U.S. citizen to receive this loan. The exact guidelines for the forgiveness are to be determined, but it will be forgivable. You won't have to pay it back. Uh, the only caveat is you can't just take the money and like go to a resort in Miami and just get bottle service. Not that you could do that anyway with the current restrictions. Number four, there is the possibility to get even more money in low interest loans, but this is depending on your own situation. Number five, and most importantly, because I was on the fence about whether I could apply or not, she said, just apply because, you know, there's tons of people that apply and there's no penalty for applying. So even if you're totally unqualified, even if there's scammers out there, which there are, she told me, uh, there is no penalty, you'll just be denied. Uh, so just apply and hopefully you do get accepted. So hearing all that information, especially that last one, I decided to apply and I just went to the website, sba.gov, and it was pretty straightforward. I mean, you just went there, uh, it's the, the part on the top, there's like a yellow thing with uh, Ec Idol's name on there. I forgot how to say it already, Economic Injury Disaster Loan. Oh, I got it. And you just click on that and it's pretty straightforward. I did in like five minutes. So five minutes for the potential to get a $10,000 forgivable loan. I think that's totally worth it. So bottom line, just apply and hopefully you get it. I'll update my progress in a future video when I do get a result. Let me know in the comment section below how your application went and if you were able to get it. I will be doing upcoming videos on how to get your stimulus money and the best ways to spend it. So make sure you're subscribed to get in on that information. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.